January 23rd, 2013. We have been doing an experiment with the uraninite and it is in a container that has water that sea salt has been added to it. And we've had a silver toroid cable, we've had a silver toroid coil hooked up on a line over that goes to the tip of the baby interferometer. Originally the toroid coil was in the water and things started turning blue. Actually the outside of the uraninite started turning blue. So now we've had the toroid coil underneath the glass with the uraninite in the middle of it and we came back here and the uraninite had moved so it's now back into position and I want to show you what's happening with this uraninite. Let's see if I can get in here a little bit different here. There we are. It's totally covered in bubbles and there's a slew of bubbles across the top of the water as well. See if I can, once it's caught it here, maybe I can get in a little bit closer now. I'm going to turn the tones up and see if there's a reaction. At one point when I was looking at this being really still and quiet, the uraninite was moving just ever so slightly when the tones were gone. So I've turned it down. It is the jar with the salt water and uraninite is sitting on top of a speaker and I'm going to turn that speaker up. back in the bus with the uraninite sample and I'm going to check on that with the bubbling uraninite. I'm going to turn the volume down so we can hear a little better here. So it's January 24th and we still have bubbling. Bubbling on the uraninite. I'm going to put this on a tripod. It'll make it a little bit easier. Lots of bubbling. This is cool go on the tripod. There's the uraninite and it originally was 
directly over the top of the Tory coil. It keeps doing this when with our experiments with the Tory coil. It will move itself outside of the center of the Tory coil. I don't know how to keep it in there, but it keeps doing that. You see there's the edge of the Tory coil about middle of the screen. And when we left here, it was in the middle of it yesterday. So let's pull it out. I'm on the tripod. I'm on the tripod. Let's go in and see how close I can get in. My focus doesn't like that. So I guess I'm about six inches away. We'll have to go in and editing and see what we can find. That was a bump in the camera. move it a little bit more here, maybe get a little different angle. Yeah. I'm back, back here. I'm going to put my hand behind to see if we can get a little better. See what that looks like. Uh, we're going to go up and top and look at it as well. We've got bubbles on the bottom as well as on the top. Let's uh, pause this and go up on top and take a look. Okay, I've got a slightly different angle here. I'm not directly on top. I've got my hand behind because we've got a lot of light problems. And we'll go up another level. Another angle on it. Interesting vibrations. And I'll go up even higher. Okay, so I'm straight over the top of it right now. A little shaky on the tripod. I'm going to go over and reach over and turn up the music. A little bit of a... I'm holding the tripod, so... I will be removing the urine night today and taking a shot of it as close as I can get and then we'll put it back into the procedure but I'd like to see if there's any physical changes to it that we can notice. So here's the urine night sample removed from the salt water it was full of bubbles. It, it appears to be smaller. There's our edge with the gold on it. Actually, there seems to be a gold haze on this whole piece. But our 
original edge that was transmitting is right next to my finger. I'll go down and take a different angle shot on this as well. I'm going to move this around so you can see different parts of it. And this was substantially blue. I, I still see a blue haze, but I mean it was very blue. salt water with the tori coil, the silver tori coil with it. Still some blue on it. Alright, let's go on a different angle. Okay, what do we got here? Down a little bit lower. shot lower down at this angle we're able to better see the blue haze that is on the sample definitely feels lighter looks smaller than the other I'm gonna to have to take some shots of this and compare it to the other photography we did going back in the bubbles or back in the salt water to see if we're going to get more bubbles and let this go for a while let's see if it totally dissolves the, the uraninite that would be fascinating And we're back at the uraninite in the salt water, and it did move again into it here. There we go. Not as many bubbles on it today, but there's the toroid. 
and it was in the middle of the toroid and now it goes over here so we're going to take this out of the container and we're going to do some um, measurements on it so that's what we're going to be doing today i'll get on a tripod and we'll take those measurements We have a regular jar with regular tap water in it and it, the water sat out for a while before we did this so that any chlorine in it dissipated and we put sea salt in it. Here's our uraninite sample and John if you could grab the toroid down there. The toroid is attached to the interferometer. We've shown that in the, earlier in the video. So this had been inside of the water with the uraninite and things started turning blue. You can kind of see the edge of the Q-tip that's being used as the form for the toroid. That's got blue on it and there's blue all in the water. This is new water from the last experiment. But we're going to put this underneath and because there's a dip on the bottom of the jar, actually an indent. We put it towards one side and then in, in order to stabilize the jar as we use another wire underneath the jar here. So now we're flat. So the movement that might be happening here would not be because the jar isn't flat. So now we have a flat jar. Here's our uraninite sample and we put it right in the middle of the toroid. Every time we've done this we come back and it's moved. So then we secure the jar down with black tape onto the speaker. Lost the toroid. Go get the toroid. Get that in position. There we go. Get this strapped down. So now the jar won't move. We've done experiments before where we come back and everything's on the floor. Okay, we'll turn the tones up. I'm just getting this tape a little bit stickier over on this end. Everything's Lock down and solid. I'll turn the tones up. Come back later.